In the last video, we used a magnetic transformer to dim this set of dimmable LED ML16 bulbs. The 180 VA magnetic transformer is more than enough to power up the few LED bulbs, but it helps emphasize the difference in size and weight for the magnetic versus the electronic transformers. Although both types of transformers produce powerful AC to the LED ML16 bulbs, the magnetic transformer couples the line waveform to step-down waveform. For phase dimming operation, you will see a series of trope sine waves on the nuzzle scope. On the other hand, the electronics transformer requires the resistive hydrogen bulb to complete the circuit in order to produce a high frequency switch on waveform inside the sidewall envelope. Since the LED bulb contains driving electronics inside, it's not difficult to see a potential problem for drop-in replacement. Here we have two electronics transformers from Philips, the ETE10 and ETE60. The ETE10 has a rate of power of 10 watts and suitable for one bulb one driver connection. The ETE60 has a rate of power of 60 watts. Now we connect the single local brand dimmable LED ML16 bulb to the Philips ETE60 to find out any difference compared with earlier result with magnetic transformer. Immediately after we power it up, you can see the bulb shows flickering. The situation seems to be improving as we dim, and we again end up with another flickering at low brightness level. The installers will definitely become frustrated if he or she does not aware of the situation in advance. Now let's connect the same bulb to another throwable electronics transformer, the Osram ETLD30, and see if any difference. When we connect the single local bulb with the Osram ETLD30, we have similar results. Now let's try with the Philips bulb on the same set of transformers. Interestingly, as we can see, when we connect the Philips bulb or a bulb with a good backward compatibility to either one of the ETE60 or the ETLED30 electronic transformers, the pop should continue to show consistent dimming performance. The backward compatibility issue is specific about the LED ML16 pop and the 12 electronic transformer. It would manifest itself with the flickering at high brightness level or even in the whole operation range. If it's only the normal flickering at low brightness level, it's more likely related to the LED driver IC accuracy for driving current at low level. Now let's connect more loading to see if any improvement can be made. Although they're still flickering at low brightness level, indeed you can find the local brand LED pops can behave more similar to what we expect. Unfortunately, this also means that the wearing performance is also subject to the number of LED bulbs connected. Note, the local brand LED ML16 bulb has an input spec of 12V AC or 12V DC. The right range of inputs may also cause further difficulty for the backward compatibility. The contrast for the Philips and the local brand should have made clear for the importance of the LED driver ICs inside the bulb. Since in most cases you don't want to change the installed transformers, our suggestion is to better spend your money on the LED ML16 bulbs with good backward compatibility, or at least get a list of the recommended 12 transformers for the particular LED ML16 bulb from your supplier. Now it's also common that many resellers recommend customers using track dimmers on the dimmable LED ML16 bulbs. As track dimmers face cuts the line voltage in leading edge, which is not recommended for LED dimming, over time, you may notice some mysterious flickering or premature part of failure either with the dimmer or driver or all being burnt out. If port drive span is a concern to you, you should really not use the track dimmers on LEDs. Let's conclude our video here. To learn more about our dimming technology and product benefits, please check out other videos in the series. Once again, thank you for watching.